hello everybody. It is the most beautiful afternoon in London, having been through a snowstorm. I mean, let me just show you here. In, let me just show you there. You can't hang on. just look down. You can see the snow on the ground. Um, but it is now stopped snowing. And um, I'm just going to give you a quick skincare catch up and talk about a few things. But I had some threading done this morning. I always get my chinny chin chin threaded because I tend to um, have a little bit of hair growth. And when I've had it done, I usually wear no makeup because I always feel it's a way I can get spots. Um, so I had makeup on when I did it. So in fact, I now want to clean my face to get it off and put stuff on again. Um, so I'm gonna use Medic 8. And this is a pore cleansing, slightly glycolic. I'm trying to think, it's got lactic and mandelic and salicylic acid. So it's a very good cleanser for anyone with an oily skin. And it's equally a good gel cleanser for anyone, let me show you that again. Um, for anyone who needs to really make sure there's nothing left on their skin that's gonna leave it dirty. Um, it's not at all tingly, a tiny bit tingly, because I've actually had the um, threading, so it is tingling a bit. But I've wanted to try Medicaid for a while because I go to see a lady um, for some beauty treatment and she always has all the Medicaid things there. And she's always telling me how good they are and I never try them. So I'm trying this and I'm trying their vitamin C and I'll let you know what I think about their vitamin C because some ladies on Facebook and Instagram said to me, um, that they love the uh, Medic A vitamin C and it's a kind of mid, not mid priced, but it's not premium premium. I think the products vary from sort of 40 to 80 pounds. So, you know, they have active ingredients. It's got a medical history as a company. Um, so I just, I just like the idea of it. I want to try it for ages. And I just want, actually what I was gonna do is, I had a little bit about, um, a little bit about it I wanted to read no it's gone all right so um we are off to Ireland I hope but I have to say that the weather in Ireland is so snowy and we I was meant to go on Thursday morning but I might have gone Wednesday night because who knows what he's going to do and whether We'll get to a regime, um, but I will get there. Now, I did a regime this morning on my skin, which is probably the longest regime I've done, but I really liked the result. And I was following some woman on Instagram and I saw a few products she tried and I thought that's interesting, but I basically did two cleansing. So I did cleansing balm de Mamiel. I had an aromatherapy treatment with the de Mamiel woman yesterday at Sanderson. It was so good. She did, um, not aromatherapy, acupuncture, but she used all her products on my face and I left and my face felt incredible. I felt so relaxed. It was just such a treat. I never get to be given treatments, but they offered it. And I just thought, I like her products so much, I'm gonna go. And um, I never particularly like to go to those things. But anyway, it was, it was beautiful and um, great. Well, was I? So I did the Demamiel and then I did the Copper Amino Isolate from Niod, which I had left in my cupboard and not used for ages, but copper is so good to put on before anything else. So I put on the Copper Amino Isolate. Then I put on, after about three or four minutes, I put on the um, Thermal, um, the, the P50, which was interesting to put that toner on after I put on the copper. But when you let the copper penetrate, then you can put the toner on. And then after that, I put on um, a little mist, the saccharin mist from Niod. Not saccharin, it sounds like saccharin, it's, it's pink. And then I put on the Demamiel, and then I put on the Hyaluronic from Niod, and then I put on a moisturizer. I did eight things, but my skin felt very good. And I saw some ladies here from Trini Lund, they said, oh, I don't know if I'd have time to do even two. And I just thought, I wish I could come up with a two-step regime, but I love trying products. Um, anyway, I'm going to start now with, I had a little set of things here I wanted to try and to show you. I've got this lift serum, I've got the lift firming, I've got the renewal, hold on, this might be the one, let me look at it, and then I'll look at your questions, thank you, darling. So, 
Metacell Renewal B. Do you see this product? This is a sort of serum for early signs of photo aging. So this is a really good serum if you're in your 30s. You all ask me different ages. It has niacinamide in it and it kind of has a little bit of glycerin for hydration, but it's a good serum um, for a slightly oily skin. I'm not going to use it, but I'm going to tell you about it because I've got somebody in the office using it and they're loving it. Um, next up, I've got this, which I've just discovered and I'm trying and I'm loving, and it's called here, Elixary Smooth Player Serum. And it's called of, it's very natural brand. They've got five serums and they all do different things, but I love the consistency of this product. I want to tell you what's in it, but it's very good. It penetrates well and it's got chili pepper, chili pepper in it, which has got vitamin C, B and A and papaya, that's what I'm smelling, papaya, fermented papaya. So there's a kind of, there's a real fruit enzyme going to work. Um, but I would put this on as my first serum. I'm gonna do two or three now. Um, but I'm using this, I've used it for a few days, I'll be using it for two weeks and then I'll let you know how I get on. Um, and then also next up we have this I love. On days like this when we're feeling we want nurturing and warmth and we want morga oil. This product here, let me put that up for you. So this is Subtle Energies Mogra Rejuvenating Gold Cream. It's Australian, they're a, a sort of aromatherapy brand and Mogra actually is a lovely natural ingredient, promotes collagen production and it has a bit of, um, what else does it have in it? Um, a bit of, I think there's a bit of rose in this, I just hang on. One thing bad, this pump, I have to like that to get it working and then it comes out. So if you ever have pumps that you keep going like that and they don't, bash them and then you push up the air and then it does actually come out better. But the consistency of this, I put too much on here, but it's just, it's delicious. It's something you could nearly massage your face with but it gives immediate hydration. And you can smell that Indian rose. I'm smelling Delhi. I'm smelling Delhi as I put that on. Just beautiful, really gorgeous. Really like, oh, like my favorite product I've tried in a long time, actually. I love it. Just this, just the bloody holder, come on, please. Okay, this, loving, 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 loving. Have I said it enough? Loving. Um, I want to know now what else they make, actually. Oh, it's probably that smell. You know how products just, they have a smell and it evokes a memory and then you just think, oh, yes, I want more of that. Putting it on my hands as well. And what I like is it doesn't, leave a sort of oily surface on my skin. Then I'm gonna do something which I just was with my man today, very early this morning, Julian, doing the remodelage. And Julian is a real pincher. He takes my skin and he pinches it and twists it. And that's how he kind of helps to change the shape of your legs, to, to tone up your tummy. And I've done it now since the beginning of January and I really notice a difference. He's taken like three or four centimeters off my waist doing this. Um, but uh, his mother who started this remodelage um, does a face technique and he was telling me about it because he's still got to learn it. But it's, kind of, it's a little bit of pinching and twisting at the same time. I'm not doing what she would suggest, but there is such an importance to me in a skincare regime of that stimulation of your skin. And by going in and doing little pinches, don't go mad, but really even places where you think you can't pinch, like on your forehead, of really going for it around the eyebrow area where we might get saggy skin. Um, Nisha just did my eyebrows today. I love her so much. Um, I have not done quite dark because I'm going to Ireland and then New York and I won't have time to do them for two weeks. Anyway, think of massage. If you're stuck at home and it's all snowy in and you can't get out, Think of just things you can grow, get online, get yourself some nice nurturing products and give yourself an at-home massage. I tell you, you'll feel good about it. This lovely lady, Demami, our lady, said to me last night, 
touch your face more. And um, I thought to myself, I do so much. She said, yeah, but really feel the contact with your skin. It's important for you. And I was like, ooh, what does she mean by that? But um, it is important. It's important for us to touch our faces, which is why I don't like brushes, um, which is why for Trini London, we're kind of brush free. But, um, oh, that is going in my suitcase to Ireland now. Um, all right, ladies, let me look at some of your questions. Oh God, I have got, I've got circles under my eyes. Um, I'm going to actually put on an eye cream today. Hold on, I'm just gonna see if there's one thing I could try, which might be good. I wanted to try this. No, that, oh, that's, by the way, that's the hyaluronic complex I, I used, which is really good from Nile that I had in my regime this morning. Um, what did I want to do? I wanted to try, um, let me just try. I'm always looking at eye creams, seeing if one of them works. I'm gonna try this, La Roche-Posay, depuffing, replenishing care. I love La Roche-Posay, it's that no-nonsense pharmaceutical brand, but I always believe that eye creams you don't really need, you can use a serum, but sometimes if you've got a little bit of mascara underneath, which is being a bit stubborn, and your eyes feel particularly dry, you might want to put something on, so I'm trying that today. I don't know if any of you have tried it, but I was looking in the mirror thinking, okay, let me squidge in my mascara with a bloody eye cream. There we go. All right, perfect. Okay, well, as perfect as it's gonna get. Um, it's really snow in Scotland, good morning. You're pinching, pinch, pinch, pinch away. Um, really pinch away. You're sick, I'm sorry you're sick, I'm very well. Um, I'm very well, feeling silly today, but it's snowy, why not? Why not? Um, and uh, Murad, I love Murad. I like their, um, I love their Hydro Moisturizer, which I've got here, one second. I think my two favorite products of Murad are their Hydro Dynam Dynamic Ultra Moisturizer, which I use a lot. And um, the other product I love is called, I'll put it on now, it's called Invisible Perfecting Shield, and this staggeringly is an SP30 broad spectrum, which means it's covering everything. And it's kind of weird gel-like thing, and you can put it on top of your um, last skincare before you put makeup on. And it sort of blurs your lines, well, it's different from our face finish, but just blurs your lines. It's like a classic primer, and maybe also will take away some shininess but it's got an amazing texture. I think Murad is always a very underrated um, brand. So those are my two favorite products to go off script here. Um, bring my mum to your talk on Monday, praying we can get in with the snow. The talk is not on Monday, darling. The talk is on, fri uh, on Friday. So I hope you mean Friday, Sarah, but go on to Brown Thomas um, for when we're going to Ireland and on the website, you can either go onto our website where we got a banner going up tonight or on Brown Thomas's directly and they have um, all the information. So on Friday, we are, I don't know if you saw yesterday, I have my little bag now, I got from Japan with all my stacks in it. Um, and on Friday, we are going to do um, two talks, one at 10.30 and one at, I'm just putting BFF on now, and one at six. We'll have a, about 150 tickets to each. They are selling quite quickly, so I'd get there if you would like to. And then we'll also have, um, these sort of 15 minute slots where you can come and get your colors matched um, on the on the stand. We're gonna do a pop-up stand where Victoria Beckham, if anybody know Brown Thomas, where Victoria Beckham did her pop-up um, on the second floor. So do join us and Shasha will be there, I'll be there, Eddie will be there, all the people that you might have if you follow us on Trini London. We have this sitcom on Trini London on stories and Chloe, who's our lovely social media lady, every day finds ladies behind here who are having their makeovers done and she films them. So if any of you are thinking, oh, I don't know what to order, you can look on Trini London, look at the stories and you'll see all these wonderful women's stories when they chat and it's, it's a happy family out there. I'm just gonna do a bit of um, cheekbones now. Um, there, I got my hair up today. I think I just felt a bit, hmm, wanted my hair up. It's a bit kind of a nearly ready to do the color day. Um, what am I gonna do next? What am I gonna do next? What do I want to do now? I have to think about it. Um, uh, just, if time was frozen for us, what would I do? If time was frozen, I don't know. Um, I don't know. What color shade are you for Trini Just Touch? I wear Trintron, um, named, it's a nickname that my oldest girlfriend gives me. She calls me Trintron. 
um, like the Sony television. Brow Sew on Point Waxel Thread, I thread. I had them threaded today and then she did a little bit of dyeing on them. Um, and I think it's the perfect balance for me because I don't have such big eyes, so I need my brows to frame my face a bit. And they do. Um, it's a massage technique called remodelage. Thank you so much, it's so nice. Um, that you answer each other's questions, remodelage. And if you, I think, if you go onto Instagram and you did remodelage silhouette or something, it shows the Paris place. But I get it done at this place in London called Grace Beauty um, and they take appointments. I think there's two places in London, but I'm not sure. Have a look. Any chance visiting the Cotswold? A good enzyme product mask. Sorry about Cotswold, I would love to visit. I do go off and my daughter's school is not far away. But um, an enzyme mask, I will show you my favorites. Let me see here if I've got. One I particularly love is um, Andalou enzyme mask, which is an organic brand I talk about a lot. I'm trying to find it here. <gasps> Hang on, is that there? No, that's a resurfacing one. No. I'll tell you what, sugar face polish is very nice. That is um, s strawberry seeds. Um, there's a resurfacing mask from Tata, but it's quite expensive. And I actually rate the Andalou one more than that, which now has run out of I can't find it here. But I, oh, wait, hang on, hang on. Ah, oh, pumpkin honey glycolic mask. That's very good from Andalou, but they have an enzyme mask as well. Um, so those would be those would be my suggestions. Um, there's there's lots, but those would be my suggestions. Hello. No, sorry, sorry. I thought somebody wanted to come into Lou. Um, hello from California. Why don't you put a mirror in the lid of? I tell you what, Jules, it's a really good idea. I'd love to put a mirror on the lid of Trini London on here, and I'm working on it now. And I hope we might have something in the next few months. But it takes a while because we have to tool something that goes on the top. We can't just pop any old thing on and it takes a while to do tooling. I'm doing a bit of little cheek today in wigs, just to give a little bit of color on the cheeks. Um, oh, it's, you know, big, big clouds coming again. I think it's gonna snow again. And then I've got this real mish. This is what happens to me when I let loose. I've got here our new fantastic lip love, which comes out in 10 days and Lila and I'm gonna put them together and do a lip and show you like that. But it's a lip that just lifts your face and is cheerful and bright and has a little bit of, it's not glitter, it's actually a particle that does very good reflection. Anyway, feeling good today <laughs> because I've got such unbelievable light today. Look, the light is reflecting off, um, off a, 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 a window pane in the back. And my God, I'd love to be set in that light forever. Um, I'm just going to do a little bit of eye. And I think today I'll just do, I might do some fortune actually. There, fortune, which is this goldy colour. And so you can see it go on properly here. It's just a very pretty colour. It's one of the very first colours we developed, actually, Fortune. And it just gives golden sheen to your eye, like that. And it works quite well, because I'm wearing today the Lila and Katinka mix. Katinka is the name of our new product. There we go. Do you see the kind of eyes go a bit bluer? They're a little bit bluer. And then I want to do some mascara. Let me just see if I've got some mascara I can use until we have a different mascara coming. I'm gonna get my eyelashes done again, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of mascara there. And there. And I'm just about done. And then my final, my final today, ladies and gentlemen, my final um, is some face finish. Um, so um, New York also is going up today, and you can we're gonna do a pop-up. And it's not really a pop-up. We won't sell product per se, but you can come and sample all the product and we will be there Tuesday the 6th. And you can meet myself and Charlotte and we're gonna be based at John Barrett's salon at Bugdorf Goodman, um, giving color consultations and meeting all the lovely US ladies who can get to New York or are living in New York who can come to us that day. And I'm so excited that time. Very excited. And then we're gonna to go to Stockholm, sorry. So if you go on to Trini London, 
we've put our little road map and it will go up tonight i'm telling you a bit early and then you can book in for the different slots and also i hope they're going to put up because i asked our techie man to put up where you would like us to come next so i've done a list of cities and we're deciding which order we do them in so please leave us your thoughts it would be fantastic to be able to get around the world so i've said i want to do 10 cities in the year and what should those 10 cities be my top is a really old celine but it has a drama in the sleeve that i love and um it's actually a polar neck like that it's a pale neck but um there this feels a bit victoria back in the like that but i quite like to have my neck on show kind of either way i can wear it either way either way either way you're 50 with really oily skin what would you recommend i do like cleansing balms i think that it's about balancing out your um over producing um uh sebaceous glands so i would do i mean some i have to say Cleansing balm is great, but if your skin is oily, something like a cleansing gel, like the Medicaid one I've used today, is very good because it's got the lactic and the, um, which other acid? It's got mandelic lactic and salicylic acid. So that's gonna help to balance your pores. And then just simple serums that don't have too much uh, extra hydration in them. Um, and uh, yes, I would, I would, you could do a cleansing balm occasionally, but I'd also mix it with that and do double cleanse. Really get that skin moving. And then if you want to start to do, I don't know your regime at all, but if you want to start to do a few little things with, um, with retinols, you should look at Trini London and see what we suggest. Um, products for your daughter's acne. Mo Price, I've done a whole spot special on Trini London. If you go on to tea time, we have two spot specials there. One where we're getting in and taking away Chloe's um, uh, milia and another one where I'm speaking to Caroline uh, Hirons about spots and all the different ways you can treat it. So, so do look and you'll see what there is. Um, and I think that's it because I've just realized now I've got a meeting at four and I'm paying which of my top three skincare products of all time? So difficult to say, I couldn't say it, and you couldn't force me to, because I like too many of them. I'm so sorry, but definitely cleansing is an important part of it. Double cleansing is an important part, um, so that's important. Um, sorry, I'm repeating myself now. Hello from Bath, Australia. Hello, Joanna. Australia is on it and within the year. What do I recommend for an oily T-zone which builds up over the course of the day? I mean, I did mention that, and I'm still looking at oily skin. I've got Hannah, who's our new Victoria, and Hannah's working with me on researching products in areas where I don't have issues. So for me, oily skin is one of them. So she's actually looking at oily skin products. I'm going to try them out. I've got two people here to try them out on. We'll come back to you with our thoughts. Um, thank you. I'm gonna go now. I just, I just very, I just want to see if there's any. What time will I be at Bergdorf's? I'll be there from ten till six on Tuesday the sixth. Ten till six on Tuesday the sixth. All happening. <laughs> it's, it's all happening. And there's Lila. So, um, so there we go. Sorry. Now the screen's gone. That's all gone. So I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna go because now my screen's gone. Okay. Bye. There. End.